Let's go. It's time to be the GOAT. It's time to enter God mode. Man, let's get it going. I want to be the greatest. Energy is overflowing. I know I'm stoking the fire. My desire's taking over. Uh, not time. Okay, friends, hope you've been doing good since the last upload around here, and welcome back to the back of the semi-truck. And yes, that is a bit of a different intro than I normally do around here, but I'm kind of start trying to change it up, and instead of saying passengers, I'm just going to say friends, because you know what? We're all friends. We're trying to watch this show together and just enjoy it. So, with that said... Welcome to the back of the semi-truck, friends, and y'all see the thumbnail, y'all see the title. Season 1, Episode 7 is what we are on, and I've got Season 2, Episode 3, there we go, of Smiling Friends transferring over to here onto the tablet. So, after I watch this... I'm going to then jump over there and watch that. And yes, that car that just passed by was pretty loud, but y'all already know we're in the back of a semi truck. It gets loud sometimes from the outside world, and I apologize for that. But at the same time, y'all already know by the title of this channel, That Nerdy Trucker. Yes, it's a bit of a rebrand as of recording right now recently, but you know what? I feel like it fits. So, we're going to keep with that name. It used to be called Truck Driving Billy around here, but I felt like that name was possibly giving off the vibes that I might just be a truck driving channel. And we watch animations around here, so we're not a truck driving channel. So, yeah. I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to start this episode. It is not as long as the last episode, but... This one and the next episode, that is the last two episodes of season one. So I say, I'm going to shut up and we're going to jump into it. So earbuds, they're going in, earbud in, and if I can get this other earbud, it's going to be in and we're going to start this episode in three, two, one, and play. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Same warnings as always. We know it's an adult show. I know they have to put that on there anyway, but still. Because, yes, young children will find this show and probably try to watch it. So, hopefully the parents actually check it out. <laughs> Binge drinking is sexy. I saw that title. Oh, no. Oh. I thought that was an accident that they... Open the portal. Well, you better stay, Jazz. Ha Babe, because guess where I'm taking you tonight? Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Sides, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir, well, y'all are in a happy go lucky movie. So I'm, I'm taking Millie mood to Ozzy's in the lust ring. I don't know why it's a happy go lucky movie. No but no, we're going to a restaurant right. called Ozzy's or yeah, whatever he just I've been said. Quite a while. Moxie! Ah, you, can you do not? <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. Maybe another time. Oh, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate your boring as fuck monogamy. Uh, no. The reservation is for us. Um, I uh -huh. hate to tell Just you, but us. their monogamy mm -hmm. is not without boring. You there. Explicitly Considering without you there. Considering we know the kind oh, of stuff that nice. they do it's together. Deal, after all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Blitz. Relax. Why what are you so freaking? You well, I what know why. On? He's just pretending to be on. happy, and he's trying to be a third wheel. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to go home. Elevator six Moxie. six six. Departing for Lust in five minutes. Okay, we're departing for Lust. Why are you following them, Blitz? Looney Boo? Yeah, it's Luna. Whoever you are, go for it. Hey, Looney. Just want to let you know I'm not going to be back home until real late. I got something important tonight. Huh. 
I thought he was pretending about some stuff, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, so Ozzy's is a good place to eat. Got a reservation? Oh yeah, I'm with those two. This club is for couples only. It's what? No date, no reservation, no entry. Huh. You know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. You fucking proud! Okay, so are you going to just go over there to Solus? Hell of a novella. Okay. Uh, I, why won't you let me, Alejandro? That's a mood, Gabriella. <laughs> yep. Call him Blitz. Oh. Hello, hello, Blitzy. Stolas, hey, you, uh, she busy tonight? Um, why do you ask? Okay, I was maybe I was right in my suspicion you... about Blitz. Wanna He's come with just me to a club tonight? lonely. Are you Wait, okay. asking me on a date? Okay, it's... maybe, he... I'm trying I, to figure yes, out Blitz I here. Why are you happening. so... How fast can you get down to Lust? For the lack of a better to... term, hell bent right, on down. following I Millie and Moxie. You. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Either way, let's do this. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Blitzy! I'm here. Wow. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> well, well, I, I just wanted to look a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess this is, huh? Huh. You again? Beat it, shithead! Ahem. Okay, um... Do we have a problem? Yeah. Oh, oh, now that you're there, oh, Stolas. Uh, uh, my apologies, your highness. Uh, please, go right in. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, no. No, but yes. Wait, what? Wait, so this is oh, a restaurant, okay. Yes. How romantic is this? What made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh, it just sounded like, I just thought we'd have a blast here, you know? God. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Blitz, Why? what are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing, how about that? Can I get you two off? I mean, Start you two off with some drinks. Yes, um, perhaps some wine to share. Do you prefer red wine or white blitz? Or perhaps some champagne? Yeah, whatever. Okay, um, <laughs> perhaps so I already see where we're not? going with this a little so, bit. I don't understand the whole fascination with day? Molly. Huh? Molly, holy oh, crap. Okay. My day has been... We killed a bunch of beardos. That Holy crap, my day's been something, but How not Molly, but Millie me? and Moxie. How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't so, know, Blitz. Right. But by the end of it, right. so, Blitz is definitely going to hurt Stolas' feelings. What made you feelings. decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I see some sexy faces around here tonight. Hey, right, so, welcome oh. to Ozzy. Lust rings number one place for all kinds of So here's fantasy. that clown again. We're on display for all you sleaze and sleazes. The gem joint of Osmodius himself. Come on, give him some love. Osmodius, huh? Did he just say Osmodius? Oh, no fucking way. Not him. I am the one and only Fizzarali. Some of you might recognize this dashing clown face from my numerous toy project replicas across the rings of hell. Gloriously designed by the big man himself and, uh, ribbed for your pleasure tonight. We have a great life. I feel like that microphone is shaped in a specific drink. way. And the okay. But as everyone's warming up, I got a funny one for y'all. 
Did any of you hear about the bat shittery that happened at Lululand? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow. You know, I'll tell you what. I'd sure love to shake the hand of the crazy son of a bitch who decided to burn down that off-brand shithole and then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking uh, to sue. That robo-me made us more money entertaining those kids than the ones we sell to get you freaks off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean! I have four of them! <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. So, without wasting <laughs> any more time, our little opening act is a fresh one. Coming at us from a little imp yep. from the Wrath Ring. The shape of that microphone Moxie. is very intentional. With no creative stage name whatsoever. Did you say, oh, you did say Moxie. Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. It's an honor to play. Uh, hurry up, bullet. Uh, sag, boy. I say, I say. This song is for my beautiful wife. A surprise for our first anniversary. I love you, Millie. Let's do this. I love you. I feel more some Adam Sandler vibes with this song for some reason. More than the Elsa loves her bum. More than a maggot loves gangrenous stubs. You Doesn't sound like Adam Sandler, sing. but yeah, it gives that vibes. Kind of like the Wanna Grow Old With You from yeah, you The Wedding Singer. Special satanic spell over my heart. Love is a journey we decided to start. Yeah, I hope we'll never ever be apart. I love you, 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 your demon host, Osmodeus, the embodiment of lust. You know, Osmodeus, I don't like you now. You ruined Moxie's song. From the groin to the bust, in desire we trust in the house of Osmodeus. Trumpet. I mean, I get what he's saying, you know. But at the same time, I mean, come on. He's lusting after Millie. Only little bitches strum the strings in their hearts. You want to hang around this lustful town? I mean, you can lust after your wife. I mean, come on. Here we sing about wants and desire. Depravity, savagery, loin hotter than fire. So give me a thrust. Show me some lust. From the coin to the bust, little imp. In the house of Osmodeus. Come on, sing us a song. Make sure the was sun you a song. Make it crack and tacky loud. Be sure to rhyme song and slog. Go ahead, your mic's on. Although I want to see you do that rhyming song I with slog. Yeah, what do you want? Butt stuff, piss play, bondage. Make gentle love to you. <laughs> uh, hey, I mean, come on. If that's what Moxie's into with Millie, let him have fun with it. Pork many times. What? Blitz? And honestly, they make Missionary look relatively exciting. That Blitzo? So you're showing your face? Hey, everybody, this guy's a total disgrace. Some nerve you got to comment on a relationship. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit. Oh, Blitzo? I used to date. Oh, Veronica. Holy crap. I on my plate Yeah, but when it was my turn, he didn't know reciprocate. Uh, 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 um. Selfish imp in the sheets. I'm just Blitz. a in the streets. My oh, dude. Heartbreaking you gotta reciprocate, my dude. Uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, fair is fair. Stolen Prince. Stolen, is that you? Are you oh, crap. with an imp? My dark lord, how the mighty do fall. He used to have a smoking wife, a kid, you had it all. I hope you didn't give it up so you and him could get it up. You sold your life for a thrust. Now that's the spirit of the love. Grab your groin or a thrust. You better get 
Get your hair plus. Pretend you don't see that crust. Hop to your jump to the dust. In the house. Although this did take a turn. That I didn't expect to see the turn take. Something for me, Mops. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I love us. Yeah. I love us yeah. just the way you know, we are. Don't have to pretend. I, to I know that we're in hell. Always got you open to but I love their relationship. I'll never take you for granted. I'll always give you my best. And if you can offer the same fate, we'll handle the rest. Cause I love you. Cause I love you. Okay, do they have this song without the interruption of Osmodus? Osmodius? Because I would like to you hear know, this that was a All right, let's without just, that interruption. Let's oh, right. Of course. Ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Y'all knew where y'all were going. Why did y'all even go there? Let's be real. Whatever. Thank you for inviting me out tonight. Despite everything that's happened, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. You know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk, or watch a movie, or maybe cuddle. Stolas, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just I, I, can't I heard that voice me. acting. Okay. I heard a quiver in the voice. That was good. That was very good. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. Oh, I thought that's how we were going to end, just leaving Stolas on the steps. This is where we really start hitting the emotions, huh? Okay. So, yeah. Blitz is... I'm trying to figure out the best way to word it. Blitz... Blitz is lonely. It's like I was thinking... At the beginning, as I was going through the beginning, I kept thinking, I was like, okay, what the heck is going on here? And I guess Blitz is lonely and but he Blitz is lonely, but he fears being with Stolas. Um I'm trying to figure this all out because I mean I obviously I do see where it's going, but at the same time it's kinda like I really need to slow down the ending scene there as he's going through his pictures so I could see that final picture he ended up on because I really should have paid a little bit more attention to that. Oh, darn it. I should have paid a little bit more attention to that because whatever that last picture was is what really hit Blitz to the point where he broke down and I didn't expect him to actually break down but I did hear that quiver in his voice and yes I do keep picking at my finger there because it's just uh, just something there I don't know what it is 
but I'm looking at him go through these pictures now again. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. I've got to. It's so quick going through those pictures. I wish I would have hit pause when it went through a second time, but it looked like it could have been. I don't know. I'm going to definitely hit pause on this one because I'm going to look at it. I, I, I'm just going to do this in real time with y'all. I'm going to look at it. Hopefully, I thought had enough forethought to put that picture down in the corner over there and actually then be able to talk about it because if I'm looking at it correctly, nope, nope, not that one. This one, nope, not that one either. Wait, is that his brother? Okay, so with this picture here, the last one that I feel like made him break down, it's him and his sister, and I'm presuming his mother? Um... Okay, so maybe maybe this is why he's so distant when it comes to relationships and he pushes people away so much because something must have happened during like a pur not, not not a purge, but uh the execution you know when Adam and the, you know, army of angels comes down and you know, kills all the, well, no, they're not supposed to touch Hellborn, so, and they're imps, so they're Hellborn, that's confusing, something must have happened with his sister and his mother to make him push people away so much, because, oh my gosh, ugh, I, I know my brain is just like all over the place tonight, but that's because, well, I've had a long day of driving, first off, and it just, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. It's bewildering me so much that Blitz at the beginning was trying to tag along with Millie and Moxie, and he was wanting to be a third, I mean, first he was trying to hang out with Mox, then he was trying to be a third wheel with them, and then he didn't want to be alone so bad that he was just going to go spy on Millie and Moxie while they were having their little one-year anniversary. And then since he couldn't figure out how to get in there without nobody, he just called Stolas up and he's like, Hey, you know, hey, what you doing? And then, you know, he pulled Stolas's heartstrings a little bit there and pretty much manipulated him into being there, you know, and that obviously messes with Stolas. But I, I'm trying to figure out... Maybe he sees Moxie and Millie as like a, a siblings or something. Not 100% sure, but one way I will be sure is to just watch the next episode, which for me, that's probably going to be a Monday or Tuesday. As of recording right now, for me, if you made it this far, it is, I don't even know what today is. It could be May 22nd. I just looked at it. 2024 and it's a Thursday Wednesday Wow it's only Wednesday for me holy crap well for me it's kind of like the start of a weekend tomorrow because I'm going home tomorrow for then Friday to be the day that I get my wisdom teeth taken out so I, I don't know whether or not I'll be able to watch the last episode of the first season Monday or if I'm still gonna be healing from the wisdom teeth thing but either way it'll probably be Tuesday I don't know. I'll figure it out later, but definitely looking forward to it. Y'all know the drill by now. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says, and I like you as you are. I do.